So we're starting. Well, go into detail. Oh, I mean, it's starting up. I'm time to hop off. All right, see you, Dom. Yep. All right, so we're going to have uh, Ness versus Richie Trainer. If, uh, if Dart was still alive, she would probably love this. But she's not here, so we get to talk all the crap we want about Ness. Mr. Junior Wi-Fi. Ooh, okay, let's go. Nice snare into up tilt. Uh, I'm not sure. I can double check though. Uh, Long Island, yes, I believe so. Well, I need to double check. I'll confirm for you in a second. All right, so we have um, we have Visceral versus Arya. Uh, Arya losing an early stock. Jesus Christ! Visceral doing a really good job uh, um, putting into the damage. Luffy Trainer actually has received some significant buffs between. Uh, Smash 4 and Ultimate, and she's seen some uh, decent increases, uh, particularly to her damage output. A hey, a Trainer with, uh, with Deep Breathing is not something you want to mess with, honestly. And even though Ness has things like Yo-Yo, uh, uh, there are ways to avoid it from my understanding. Uh, numbers told me that it's actually possible to make it so he always gets hit only by the first hit of the Yo-Yo during the charge and not the, uh, the latter hits. But you have to kind of, uh, you have to come in from a specific trajectory. Uh, this row clearly wasn't ready to do the up the immediately, which is very unfortunate. Oh god, that was so dangerous from this row. If he had gotten hit by the tail at any point, that would have been the, uh, stock free. Uh, that's something that Ness could do as far back as Smash 4. Okay, good magnet, good magnet come in. Also, really like the um, the Smash DI from um, I don't even know if it's called Smash DI anymore. The rapid tapping of the control stick of this world to get out of the PK fires that have been happening so far. That's uh, really important in this matchup. That you don't give Ness an opportunity to stack as much damage as possible with PK fire. Uh, that move does a ridiculous amount of damage, and if you give him any kind of follow up besides maybe a grab, uh, you're gonna regret it. Okay, uh, this is going to be a quick set. I think we're, next up we're going to have Beast vs. Elixir. Sorry guys, I'm still to and I'm trying to cast. <laughs> it's always fun trying to wear multiple hats at once. This hero with a very strong uh, performance there. He actually played uh, managing to JV2 his opponent. Uh, Ness is a character that actually does have really good damage output, but if he loses control of the match, it is pretty. It can be pretty bad for him. But this role played pretty smart. He made sure that uh, he never gave him. He never gave Arya a chance to really to breathe, Three, and that ended up two, taking the match for him. One, and we're going go. to FD the Magic Can FD because it's Ness. Kind of interesting choice um, to use in Magic Camp. I'm not sure if the, the platforms really had that much of an influence on the uh, on how that's the first match went. So I'm really interested to see like how um, how Visceral is going to approach this change in the matchup and how big of a an effect it's going to have. And there again, we see that uh, Visceral didn't really. There was no. Oh God! I mean, they're both dead. So technically that's a win for Visceral, just from the sheer fact that Visceral uh, took the stock at 40%. And that was kind of risky on his part.
Sorry guys, gotta do more TO and stuff. Oh man, that that uh, hey, that stage change is actually making a huge difference, I guess. Either that or Arya kind of uh, decided to turn up and he's figuring out what he wants to do in this matchup. The stage can actually make a huge difference in any matchup. Um, I'm not really sure how it's affecting uh, if the trainer versus Ness. Oh man, you went a little bit too high there. He, uh, you want to get hit literally by the just the tip of your hands. You don't want to get hit by the rest. Of Arya with like a very strong game too there. Those have actually both been like really good games from the respective players. Um, you can see like Visceral. One of the big changes that they made in this game uh, from Smash 4 was that Ness's uh, PK Thunder 1 isn't really, uh, you can't really absorb it like immediately when it comes out. It doesn't have a, uh, a way to be destroyed immediately unless you're using like Magnet or Reflector. So you can't really like just be on top of his head and hope that it's gonna hit him because you're just gonna get hit into the PK Thunder 2. Oh, we're going back to PS2. No DSR here, boys. This role clearly feeling like this like the stage was a good workhorse for him, but it feels like Arya might have actually figured out a few things about how this matchup works. And that's gonna give him the keys to really win the sets, hopefully. Interesting Magnet, he wasn't quite spaced perfectly, and he gave this role an opportunity to make up some really needed damage. And this match is pretty close. Uh, if this role is, plays his cards right, he can take the stock right now, but he's got to be careful. Ness is still pretty dangerous, and Deep Breathing is out of the picture. Granted, Ness uh, is still at a pretty high percent. Anything can kill, uh, well not anything, a lot of things can still kill, and now everything can kill. And everything did kill. Have stills. Ooh, a good absorb. But he was at zero percent. Uh, when you're fighting a character, wow, they clipped his foot, dude. <laughs> All right, we're keeping this even. Uh, the first few games were kind of a wash on each side, but oh man, I think uh, Visceral kind of forgot about how far Ness can go. Uh, the if he air dodges. Uh, Ness and Lucas are both characters that go insanely far. Oh, and a really bad PK Thunder 2 to get back. That's so unfortunate. Uh, Visceral pulling the ripcord immediately on that uh, deep breathing. Totally respect it. So I'm pretty sure John Numbers probably wrote an essay about how to avoid getting hit by the, uh, the strong hits of Yo-Yo, but I didn't read it. Right. This row managing to finally get back on the stage after taking a total of 50% and getting hit off like three times. Ooh, we in there. And Visceral, again, holding the lead, uh, the stage really putting in work for, uh, for Visceral. Not really sure what the difference is between that and this. I guess it's just maybe a comfort pick. But he's definitely finally taking a lead. He has a solid uh, percent. He has a solid percent lead, as well as a good stock lead. But to lap, Mario. But this uh, back throw is definitely going to do it. If Arya can survive past the deep breathing, he might be good. Uh, the choice to do forward throw is really interesting to me because you want to try to keep a deep breathing up. Ooh, nice forward smash. Are you getting exactly everything he needs right now? He has the momentum. Is this going to be it? Is that it? Oh, that DA was awful. This man almost died. And just like that, it's even again, dude. This could literally go either way. Is this going to kill? That man was deleted. Were you holding up? Oh, no. 
That wasn't even. <laughs> I got deleted. I went out of control so quickly. Wow. Okay. I I don't know what to say about that. <laughs>